Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a short, I hope, video showing you how to connect a second 4215BN charge controller to your software so that your software can monitor two charge controllers. The way my system's set up right now is that I have uh, two 4215BN charge controllers. Each charge controller is set up to its own solar panel array. The power coming out of that <coughs> and going to my battery is combined in a combiner box and from there it goes to both of them charge the same battery bank. Okay, So I'm assuming that you have installed the software for your first charge controller and everything is working perfectly. So now you've wired up your second charge controller to your sol your solar panels to your battery bank and everything's wired up what first thing you're going to do is plug your data cable into your com port on the new charge controller and plug the other end to a different USB port on your PC the PC is going to pick that up and add that to your device manager and it should look something like this device manager open your device manager go down to your com ports and now you have two of the same com ports the first one on this my particular system was on com5 the new one that I've added the second brand new charge controller is on COM6. So we need to set up that COM port to communicate. Highlight it, right click it, properties, go to port settings. I uh, don't know what yours would be set up at, but uh, put the bits per second at 115200, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control none. Make sure you tick the RS-485 box and tick the low latency mode and I've got I didn't change it it's set at 50000 okay so you set all that up click OK go ahead and close your device manager now let's open the software and you are greeted with this screen first thing I like to do is get rid of that toolbar and get rid of the message window so I can see what's going on here okay so your COM5 which is your old controller is there and its uh, station name is number one but we're gonna set up station our COM6 on station number two so the first thing you need to do is go system add a station over here on, on this screen you're going to make sure the connection is enabled on the port you're going to change that to COM6 okay then you're going to go to station information the station name says number one we're going to change that one to a two you can call it anything you want as long as it's not the same as your other one and the device ID is number two and you can change all that stuff I'm not going to do it right now I'll just change the voltage rate of voltage is 12 volts uh, okay and add add station was successful okay but we're not done yet okay before we do anything else go up here to parameters device parameters device ID setting I'm going to show you COM5 read that ID it says it's ID1 okay that was your old charge controller let's go to COM6 which is your new charge controller read the ID operation successful it says ID2 actually before you installed it would have said ID1 so what you have to do is change that one. I've previously installed this, so that's why you had to 
it came up and saved that somewhere on my disk. I don't know where. But if you read the ID on COM6 by clicking there, click read ID, it'll come up with a number or an ID here. You need to change that to 2 because that's what we called it over in when we set up that COM port. It was 2. Set the ID at 2. Update is successful. And that's it. Close that. Now, up here in the station name, you go. You can now have two station names. You can pick number one, start monitoring, and this is all the data you're getting from station number one. Okay, stop monitoring. Go over to number two, start monitoring, and there, voila, you have it. This is all the data from number two. We know it's different because right now I have the solar array turned off on my number two system. See how the solar power is zero watts? It's on cutout, not charging. Stop the monitor. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Go to number one. Start monitoring. Okay, you see uh, we got 29.3 watts coming in on station number one input boost charge normal stop monitoring drop that up to number two waited for my weight symbol to go away start monitoring not charging cut out okay there you have it that was really simple to do if you have any problems or any questions, just give me a little message below and I'll be happy to help you if I can or point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching.